Cancer, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for November 16th through the 22nd. And I'll uh, take a look into your recent past, your uh, current energies and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Cancer. God, I can't, I still can't get used to the day ending at basically 4.30 and by five, I'm ready for bed. <laughs> uh, so I don't know what the hell is going on this year. But it is what it is. Let's see, Cancer. All right, so the overall energy for the reading, the Hermit. A lot of introspection here on your side. Um, a lot of... I don't see any thoughts being in the way, which is actually very good. This is an energy that a lot of people are having a hard time reaching these days. Um, so it's good that it's there on your side. In the recent past, you get the Queen of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Five of Wands. See, when the mind was at play, not the mind, but you weren't open emotionally for a situation that turned into conflict. So when, when conflict is already there in our lives, let's say, if we're not opening our heart to it, the conflict might keep going on and on and on and on. If we're going at it from a very logical perspective, we're going to be like, trying to prove something or trying to find the truth of the situation instead of just feeling your way through whatever's going on. Uh, maybe that person's hurting and you're like wanting to show them, well, it's dumb that you're hurting because it doesn't make sense, you know, kind of thing. It's not dumb that somebody's hurting even if it doesn't make sense. So those kinds of aspects, if they're being taken into consideration, it's people's emotions for, for example, uh, things might go smoother. Um, in the current situation, you get the High Priestess, the Three of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. Your intuition is kind of pushing you in a direction of possibly spending time with possibly somebody in particular or just people in general, you know, going out, having fun, uh, enjoying people's company. Because I do see you being in a very good stable environment that you created for yourself and there's that need to share it either again with somebody specific or just in general friends family things like that um in your immediate future you get the ten of wands the empress and the page of pentacles uh this is a little bit of a bump in the road kind of thing a speed bump for you i i see you growing and getting into that full um self-empowerment kind of energy and you're not rushing through it you're kind of learning each day learning something new and stuff like that but again with the ten of wands it kind of seems like you're hitting those bumps from time to time it's not really easy to sustain that energy when you get into that place of feeling good about yourself you know um let's see let's clarify let me clarify the hermit the knight of cups the eight of cups and the high priestess Maybe there was a situation in which you have been opened a lot. Uh, your intuition is kind of telling you to break, to, to hit the pause button on that, to snooze, snooze the feelings uh, kind of deal. It does seem like in a particular uh, case here, you had your heart up your sleeve and you don't want to be doing that anymore. Um, at least it's coming something inside of you is telling you okay enough is enough kind of deal you know i don't know what this is but it's making you think a lot about it think in a very good way in a very deep way like do i need to listen to my intuition or not kind of deal and i feel like you are let me clarify that queen of swords in the recent past
Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Uh, might have made a choice sometime in your past based on a lot on how you thought rather than how you felt. And I don't know if it was the best choice. I mean, I have no idea if it was or not, but you're coming to the conclusion that maybe not the best choice I could have made, you know? I don't know what this is in regards to. Let me clarify the Five of Wands because I do see conflict coming out of it. Interesting, because I have all the cards upright, but this Eight of Wands came out in reverse uh, for you. Eight of Wands in reverse, Ten of Swords, the Hangman. All right. Communication. Poor, poor communication here. To the point where you just stop talking. You just stop saying anything at all. Like, whatever I say, it's not going to lead me anywhere good, so I might as well shut up about it. Uh, again, I see a lot of conflict at stake and a lot of poor communication between two people. Until it got to the point where nobody did anything anymore. Huh. Let me clarify the High Priestess in the current situation. The Ace of Cups, the Devil, the Five of Cups. All right, so your intuition is telling you that there is a brand new beginning in love at stake. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if your intuition is seeing that if you're stuck in the past, it's not going to work out. Uh, if you're holding something that the other person did to you or towards you in the past, something that hurt you, and you're kind of holding that against them, no beginning in love is going to be successful here. I mean, the beginning part, yeah, it might work out. The later part, not if you hang on to the past. And that could be somebody you're attached to, not necessarily you. Remember, roles can be reversed. Let me clarify the Three of Cups in the current situation. The Two of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. There's all of these initiatives that you're kind of setting yourself into the direction of taking. So I see you kind of planning for something brand new to happen in a dynamic, in a relationship. It does come in as a sense of reconciliation here. So maybe it is somebody from your past that you want to patch things up with. I do see initiative on your side, but not rushing through it. Kind of like uh, taking small steps towards making things happen again. Uh, let me clarify the Nine of Pentacles in your current situation. Queen of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Now I don't know if that's you or somebody you're dealing with. There's definitely a Queen of Swords here that showed up twice so far. And this person, because they're so analytical, because they're so... It has to follow some sort of pattern, some sort of plan. It has to fall into that whole logical place of things. This person thinking like that or being like that. Um, I feel like things are running smooth for them up to a certain point. When it's not about the thought process anymore, but it's about the feeling process. And this person loses that aspect because they don't really, they don't want to go there. It's like allowing themselves to be vulnerable and they don't want to do that. And instead they're going by logic and then things get stuck and this person gets stuck, you know? Interesting. Let me clarify the Ten of Wands in the immediate future. Two of Cups, Ten of Wands, the Justice card. It's hard. It's hard to 
And again, I see somebody in the current situation wanting to patch things up, <clears throat> possibly in a love situation, and it's getting really, really hard to bring this together. Now, as I said, I do see one of you, kind of feel like it's you, it could be the other person, but I do see one of you going about emotions from a very logical perspective. Um, you, you, you can't put math on emotions or, you know, uh, exact science on emotions. They're being felt and that's that, if you allow that to happen. Uh, and that's why things are getting very difficult for this person and they don't understand the problem. The problem is that they're not letting themselves feel what it is that they're feeling, you know? Because it has to go according to some sort of plan. Let me clarify the Empress uh, in the immediate future. Page of Swords, the Star, the Nine of Swords. Small steps, very small steps towards what somebody wants. I feel fi uh, things are moving overall, but they're being stopped. They're being stopped on their tracks, just like this person can go according to a plan up to a certain point when it's like it's time for you to feel right now. And this person doesn't have that to include in their plan. So things get delayed, let's say, because again, I do see movement very slow. Um, it's being prevented by someone's thoughts around this aspect. Let me clarify the Page of Pentacles in the immediate future. The Three of Wands, the Queen of Cups and the Seven of Wands waiting you're waiting you're the one that's waiting here for things to start moving to, for things to show up based on whatever's going on here um it's hard for me to explain because i see what's going on and it's hard if you are this person it's going to be hard for me to reach you because i'm going to want to reach your emotions and your emotions are not here anywhere that I can reach them. Um, if this is the other person, then, you know, it's hard for anybody to reach a person that's not acknowledging that they're coming at things from a very logical way instead of feeling things. And I could be saying that to somebody that's going through that and they would be like, well, yeah, it makes sense, you know, to them. To me, it doesn't because there has to be balance in between emotions and thoughts. There's no balance here. And this person doesn't really acknowledge that. And because of that, things are going at a very, very slow pace here. Um, let's see what the universe has. Ah, Ace of Pentacles, the Sun and the Lovers. This is beautiful energy. And it's very practical and it's very doable for this connection here. And again, I do see progress very, very slow, but this could be the beginning of this, which is beautiful energy that's leading to happiness, the happiest card in the deck here. Uh, again, whoever is in this logical place just needs to open up to their emotions, that's it. You know, because that's where they get blocked when the emotions show up. And they're like, uh, would I have those? Which pocket did I put those in? You know, kind of thing. So, but it is progressing, but again, at a very, very slow pace until this person starts to open up to their emotions. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.